Thursday marks the first full day of the postseason, which means we will have tournaments from now until the A and B boys title games on March 16th. But before we get ahead of ourselves, let's go to some fun action at District 8 in Minot. We start with an upset alert of the two versus seven matchup. Surrey and Bishop Ryan Lions with possession. Olivia Demare is finding Elena Johannesson on the pick and roll, and Johannesson drives strong through the lane, putting up through the two. Tough two-pointer. A physical battle all game is sophomore guard. Laney Will fires one from deep, and Will puts in a sparking a run for the Mustangs. Back with the Lions, those Tochi Udekwe finding Elena Johannesson, who pulls up mid-range jumper. Cash it in for Johannesson. Bishop Ryan, the upset over the two-seed, defeating the Mustangs, 37-34. Moving to the next matchup, TGU Titans versus the Velva Aggies. First quarter, Titans with possession. Ashley Martyrdam kicks it back out to Sophie Bachmeyer, who hits nothing but net. Three nothing Titans early. Aggies trying to answer back. We go to Olivia Miller, darts over Natalie Nechparenko, who puts on the easy two pointer. Titans too much, though, in this one. And Bachmeyer gets it over to Boston Bailey. Three pointer corner pocket. TGU leads, and they would not look back. Titans get a victory. 63-39. How about a look at our district defending district champs? Our Redeemers taking on Harvey Wells County, third quarter. Hornets down 17. Freshman center Braley Keller trying to get the comeback trail going, giving the Hornets some life on the turnaround. Jay Knights with the ball. Michaela Altringer flipping it to Katie Bra Kate Caden Braun, excuse me. Braun putting up in tri the trifecta, knocking it down there for the Knights. How about some more Knights highlights? This time to their leader, Maya Vibetto, who gets a screen from Allringer, and Vibetto puts it in from deep. Knights cruise 60-34. Finale of the night at the odd, Berthold Bombers and the MLS Mavericks. Early on, Berthold with possession. Alyssa Lindahl kicking it over to Casey Simons, corner three. Good. Simon showing off the range. Mavericks trying to answer, and they will as Jamie Thompson finding space and getting down low to get the two-pointer there. Bombers again this time. Maya Nesham, their leader. Sweet feed to Gretchen Deaver and Nesham finishing in traffic, extending the Bombers' lead. Berthel coming away with a good win, 44-25. Other scores, District 7 getting underway as well. Kenmare, the top seed, beating Trinity Christian. Powers Lake over partial in the 4-5 matchup. Trenton defeats Ray, 66-28. Tioga over Divide County by four. Just one district play-in game from District 5. South Hart over Glen Olin, 55-40. They will open with Bowman County on Saturday. Other non-postseason scores, Botno with another win, 82-28 over Stanley. Nedros by 30 over Newtown on the boys' side. Linton beats Lamore 67-60 and it's Edgley over Napoleon 68-43.